in Glendale, California, brawls break out between parents and LGBT activists outside a school board meeting. In response, Nick Merckx of FaZe Clan simply stated they should leave the little children alone, that's the real issue. That Activision Blizzard gets activists triggered as Nick has his own custom character in the Call of Duty video game. Then the official Call of Duty account states, due to recent events, they remove Nick Merckx bundle from their store because they're focused on celebrating pride. So Nick went on stream and explained his statement. Uh, I saw parents bra brawling in front of a school with kids. I just didn't like it. My wife and I just had a baby. Brand, brand new father. But her and I agree that we we want to be the ones to talk to our kid about things like that. I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. About it. I didn't mean to upset anybody. I know that I did. I'm not apologizing about the tweaks. I don't feel like I'm I don't feel like it's wrong. Which is sadly where we are in the world right now. Companies are so deathly afraid of the woke mob putting them in their crosshairs that they dare not allow parents to have opinions about their own kids. Because let's be clear on what the protests were about. So why are you here today? We're here because um, the school planned on having an assembly to talk to our kids about matters that we think that the kids are too young to um, talk about just yet. Um, and why is it bad for these children to be exposed to this sort of ideology? Well, because they're too young to talk about sex, and you can't talk about same-sex families and couples and relations without talking about sex. We just don't think that seven-year-olds are ready to um, have those discussions yet. Now, what would you say to the people that would say that this is probably, um, or that you hate gays or hate people that are part of the LGBTQ uh, community? Right, I, I hear them screaming, no more hate. We have not hated anyone. We have been in this community for years. Um, the rainbow flag has been in the school for years. The transsexual teacher has been at the school for years. There have been no incidents, no hate. Um, we, ha we also are not protesting them. We're protesting the LAUSD and the school. Which turned into fights between the predominantly Armenian community and activists. That devolved into actual brawls outside the school. But the more interesting aspect is, it seems the activists are getting a lot of out of state support. And apparently, some of the activists that were arrested outside that school don't even have kids that go to that school or even have their own kids. Where Andy No reports, one of the activists arrested actually had been arrested before involving a crime against a kid. Something just quite isn't adding up here, but the more insane part is, why does a video game company need to take a side at all? This is the We Spy incident in Los Angeles all over again, where LGBT activists swooped in to stab several people in the name of protecting someone they claimed was in their community, who actually turned out to be a longtime offender with a horrendous criminal history. And this is playing out the same exact way. Nick Merckx simply stated, I want to raise my baby how I feel best. So some employees from Activision Blizzard, in a rush to punish anyone who dare challenge their narrative, somehow aligned a billion dollar company with fringe activists that are willing to travel state to state to get into physical conversations with parents to ensure they can show kids adult material. It's such an incredibly unpopular opinion, we're even starting to see regular people in the LGBT community trying to distance themselves from these activists. Because we saw how many people were siding with Nick when he was explaining his position. And on Twitch, he has over 6.7 million followers with over 4 million subscribers on YouTube. Once a streamer crosses a certain threshold, their audience is watching because of the person, not whatever activity made them popular in the first place. It's not like he's famous for playing baseball and would suddenly need to learn how to play ice hockey. Looking at Steam, there's plenty of first person shooters he could play instead and Call of Duty isn't even in the top 5 of the most popular games. So when Call of Duty ousts Nick for the mortal sin of having personal views during the month of June, Call of Duty is facing backlash everywhere online. Popular streamer Dr. Disrespect calls him pathetic. George Alexopoulos questions why Call of Duty seemingly groups pride with people specifically targeting kids in grade school with many others stating that they're deleting Call of Duty and boycotting the franchise altogether, while others find it ironic when Blizzard Activision doesn't quite have the moral high ground, where they recently had to pay out $35 million for their own S-harassment issues. 
so now Call of Duty has dwindled their consumer base to the blissfully ignorant, as anyone that followed the Nick Merckx fiasco knows that supporting Blizzard Activision is just giving money to triggered activism, and the LGBT community that Call of Duty tried to align with they already know that sure, the company tries to be inclusive as possible with special in-game flags for them, but when it really comes down to it, those values go out the window to align with whoever is currently paying them. And I imagine Nick Merckx is smart enough to know, never bow down to the woke mob, because we recently covered Toronto Blue Jays pitcher Anthony Bass, apologizing for sharing his religious opinions on social media. I apologize with them, and as of right now I'm using the Blue Jays resources to better educate myself Let's make better decisions moving forward. Well, now he's going to be paraded around as a featured catcher for the Pride Weekend celebration. Because with the woke mob, it's not enough that you submit. You need to be made into an example so everybody knows what a bad dog you've been. Because regular fans are no longer going to idolize and aspire to be the next Anthony Bass. And the only fan base he's left with is a group that cheered him on when he was apologizing and submitting to being re-educated. He can't turn his back on the woke mob now because then everybody would find him cowardly. But I do understand what Call of Duty is trying to accomplish. They want to please everybody so everybody from everywhere will come play their video game. And the sad part is, it's incredibly easy for them to do it. Just shut the fuck up and make a fun video game. Nobody played Sonic the Hedgehog and thought, this is fun, but I'd have more fun if I knew Sonic had two gay biracial dads. So if you appreciate my concise, no-nonsense commentary on what's really going on in the world, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on the baseball boycott being led by anybody on the bench with big enough balls.